Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with the release of Google Chrome version 128 last week, as I posted, Google is further integrating the new Lens UI overlay into the browser. Now, I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like to get some more info regarding the latest stable release. But just a quick recap, the new Lens overlay, as an example, if I right click on a website or the browser or on an image, we get in the context menu, we get search with Google Lens. And then as I've mentioned uh, in previous videos, we then can select a word, an image, part of a web page or the browser and we get the lens overlay as you can see, which gives you this kind of material, you fluent design, you can select text to search for the text, you can translate that text if it's in a foreign language and then that opens up here using Google Lens uh, for your related searches uh, in the site panel. So this is what I'm talking about. Now I have found out that this is not the most popular feature. And if you don't want to get this new lens overlay, then you can disable the overlay. And what it'll do is it'll get rid of all this kind of extra um, frills or fluff, for want of a better word. But you will still be able to see your related searches using lens in the side panel. So this will disable the actual overlay and get rid of a lot of this extra clutter and unnecessary kind of visual redesign if you don't want to use or don't need that as part of the new lens you are that Google is integrating into um, the browser. Now, what we need to do though is we need to disable the ex the flag that pertains to that feature. So if you are comfortable to fiddle with experimental features, um, it's actually quite simple to do. We just head up to the Omnibox and we just enter Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags into the Omnibox. And in the search, all you need to do is type in lens. There we go, lens overlay enables lens search via an overlay on any page. Now what we need to do, you can see that's default, so it's a default feature. We need to disable, click on disabled, and then we need to relaunch um, Chrome version 128 to apply that, f that flag and disable that flag. And now you'll see as an example, if I head to an image and I right click, it says search image with Google. So it brings back search image with Google and gets rid of the search image with Google Lens or the Lens overlay. And then if we click on that, although the overlay is gone, yeah, it's got, you can find your, your related searches, your search, your text to translate using Lens, but it gets rid of all that extra fluent overlay and material you redesign. And just to show you, if we just head back to the new tab page, you'll see now that if I right click, there is no option to open with Lens or Google because the, the overlay works on any website or any page or any part of the browser where um, search images with Google only works, obviously, if you are wanting to search for an image. So that's how you can restore search image with Google and disable the new Lens overlay uh, in the latest release of Google Chrome and I have been posting on this disabling lens over the last two, three years and it seems that with a lot of the stable versions that do roll out, obviously as I've mentioned, flags are not experimental flags are not options, they are experiments. So Google um, removes the ability to disable flags to disable some of these features but for now this is working so uh, in the future this could once again be removed but for now as of recording um, today on the 26th of August, um, disabling the new lens overlay and restoring search images to Google is working. So I just wanted to let you guys know because I know that it's not the most popular choice to have that overlay in the for Google Lens in the Google Chrome web browser. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.